All right, hey there, Bucket Pond family. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in our previous video, we built a new nano tank using ideas from the community, from you guys. Great ideas, thank you. Uh, we developed a whole new type of lid for our jar aquariums, and I'm very excited about that. And we also had a second uh, idea or suggestion from the community from a uh, controversial Chris who mentioned that our ostracods may be so aggressive because they are suffering from a protein deficiency. I did not expect this. I never thought about it, but that idea has merit. And I believe that that suggestion uh, deserves its own video. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to take one of my mature ostracod swarm aquariums and we're going to apply a piece of bacon. We're going to see what happens. So you may notice some algae and things on the walls of this aquarium. Uh, it's dirtier than my normal tanks and that's because I cannot run snails in here to help clean the glass. Uh, the ostracod swarm, uh, they're quite aggressive and they have killed all of the snails in their tank, including pretty much everything else other than a few scuds and uh, some other uh, various microfauna. If you're not familiar with ostracods, I should mention that they are tiny crustaceans and normally they are harmless, just little scavengers, kind of like a uh, isopod or a roly-poly. Uh, but once their numbers get up so high, once their population gets to a certain point and they get overpopulated, uh, they will switch to a different strategy where they become predators. Uh, as a group, they will swarm into the gills of a fish or um, uh, they'll just choke out any little life forms in their tank and they'll eat them. So here we have waited a, a little while, just a few minutes after adding the bacon to the aquarium. And I can see at two times speed here on the footage that the ostracods are beginning to organize in vertical lines. That's an unexpected development. Uh, I believe they're smelling the bacon in the water column. And so they're kind of gravitating uh, to those, uh, those fluid flows of scent, if that makes sense. Just a theory. But normally they do not act like this. They typically just swarm everywhere. Everyone is everywhere all the time. Uh, but they're definitely interested in the scent from this bacon. And here we are two days later. And I can tell you right away, guys, that activity has slowed down a great deal. The ostracods are alive, but they're not moving nearly as much. Uh, <laughs> they might have been looking for protein. I think Chris was right. It seems as though um, feeding them this animal protein has uh, nullified the chaotic swarm that we've had in here for so long. And this is unexpected because even when I give them cucumbers or other food, um, they don't react like this. They don't stop and go into a food coma. Um, they just basically continue their swarming, free swimming existence. So it looks like Chris was right. And here we are five days later checking on the ostracods. Things are starting to return to normal. Uh, I see some activity in here. We're starting to move around a bit more. And I'm willing to bet that that slowdown, that um, uh, lazy, sleepy uh, behavior we were seeing there is most likely going to lead up to a large breeding explosion. That's my expectations. And we're checking on the tank once again. This is day eight. Uh, the water is a little cloudy. It looks like all of the meat is gone from that bacon, and I just see some fat on there. But we're going to pull that out of the tank. I might try a different meat option in the future, maybe some kind of fish. Uh, <laughs> but the tank looks okay. The scuds are annoyed that we pulled their, uh, their bacon fat out of here. They seem to be interested in it. But that's okay. They'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so uh, the initial results look like adding protein will help to pacify the ostracod swarm and uh, allow us to raise snails and some other pets with them. That's just a theory. We'll have to check it out more in the future. Thank you, Chris. That's a great idea. A uh, big thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters. This is just a short video, just a little bonus episode um, because I had some extra content. 
I couldn't get it into the last video without making it really long and confusing and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you Sunday.